The Megalodon ruled and dominated the world's oceans pretty much unchallenged for around 20 million years. So why then did they go extinct when they were at the top of their food chain? In this video, I take a closer look at this colossal predator, coming up. The Megalodon is an extinct species of prehistoric shark that lived around 23 million years ago during the early Miocene, right up to the end of the Pliocene about 2.6 million years ago, and roamed all of the warm oceans on the planet. The Megalodon, Carcaracles Megalodon, resembled a gigantic great white shark, Carcharodon carcarius, and when first discovered, scientists thought the Megalodon to be closely related to the great white shark and placed the Megalodon into the Carcharodon genus of the Lamnidae family which contains the Mako shark and the great white shark, but with recent studies, scientists now argue that the Megalodon belonged to the Carcaracles genus of the Otodontidae family, an extinct family of sharks that existed from the early Cretaceous to the end of the Pliocene. The correct placement of the Megalodon is still a matter of debate amongst scientists. Swiss biologist Louis Agassiz first named the Megalodon Carcharodon Megalodon in 1843 based on fossilised tooth remains. These fossilised teeth are where the Megalodon gets its name from. Megalodon comes from ancient Greek and translates as big tooth and boy are these teeth big. The teeth of the Megalodon resemble those of the great white shark but are considerably larger. Great white shark teeth can be around 3 inches long. Megalodon teeth have been found that are over 7 inches long. It's these fossilised teeth that have enabled paleontologists to study this formidable apex predator. The megalodon's jaws would have been enormous and an extremely scary sight to behold. Reaching sizes of around 7 feet wide, these jaws contained around 46 front row teeth, and as most sharks have 6 rows of teeth, the megalodon could have had around 276 teeth altogether at any one time. These jaws produced the biggest bite force of any creature that has ever existed. Even the mighty Tyrannosaurus rex wouldn't have even stood a chance against the Megalodon. Humans produce a bite force of 150 psi, the great white shark 4000 psi. The Tyrannosaurus rex who had the biggest bite force of any land dwelling animal produced 12,800 psi. These are all completely dwarfed by the Megalodon who produced a colossal bite force of 40,000 psi. Megalodon really was the most powerful predator to ever exist. The skeleton of all sharks, including the Megalodon, are not made of bone. They are made primarily of cartilage, which does not fossilise very well. This makes it difficult for paleontologists to build a picture of what the Megalodon looked like and what size it could grow to. Megalodon teeth, however, do fossilise, and using the size of the teeth and comparing these teeth to the teeth of the great white shark, paleontologists estimate that the Megalodon could grow to sizes of around 16 to 18 metres, which is 50 to 60 feet and could weigh as much as 50 to 75 tons, compared to the 3 ton 20 foot great white shark, making the Megalodon 3 times the size of a great white shark. This makes Megalodon the largest shark to have ever existed, and the largest marine predator in the history of the fossil record. The Megalodon was a carnivore and would have had to consume a substantial amount of food each day. Scientists estimate the shark would have had to eat 2,500 pounds of food each day, that's like eating one and a half cows every day. The Megalodon would have preyed on prehistoric whales, dolphins, squid, and giant sea turtles, and its only rival was the equally gigantic prehistoric whale, Leviathan, as well as other Megalodons. So why then did this formidable predator go extinct? There are several scenarios that scientists believe led to the extinction of the Megalodon. As the last ice age began, the global climate cooled and sea levels began to drop as the glaciers formed. This could have made krill and plankton migrate closer to the poles, which would have made the whales that feed on them migrate too. Megalodons were unable to regulate their body temperature like great whites can, and so were unable to migrate to the colder waters. This made the main food source of the Megalodon disappear. With a smaller habitat to live in, the disappearance of many marine species and the evolution of newer predators, the competition for food would have increased. It is most likely that these factors, or a combination of these factors, led to the decline and eventual extinction of the Megalodon. This was probably a good thing for us humans. Could you imagine what it would be like if Megalodon still existed today? Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like. It really does help the channel out. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing, and I'll catch you next time. Ooh, this is far from the end.